Hello YouTubers and Linux distro users. Today I'm going to show you how to add ConvertX to DVD in Ubuntu 13.10. And if you will also notice that ConvertX is already trying to open here. And I'm, I'm running actually at three screens so don't worry if you see the mouse disappears or you don't see something that open I'll drag it over to the middle and let you view it so first thing I'm gonna already think that you already have installed this onto your system uh, either in play on Linux or by using wine it's also a good thing to have wine mono installed also okay uh, since this is already open we could go ahead and set this up you will also notice like in play on Linux and stuff like that I notice a lot of people are actually having problems in getting the uh, play on Linux or wine to notice a a DVD burner by default you're not gonna see a DVD burner so stop looking for now until they actually make a a fix for this but we can go ahead and do it a different way by clicking on the wrench and once we have everything opened up uh, first things we're gonna do is we're gonna change something here we're gonna go to encoding when you have encoding open, just remember it will always be on normal when you first open it. Normal could take you up to an hour to an hour and a half of conversion time. If you're, uh, if you have a pretty decent system, I would go ahead and just click time critical. Time critical, you can actually have this on DVD within 30 minutes to sometimes 15 minutes. So just heads up on that second thing the major thing that we're gonna do is go to burning here's the burning tab we're gonna click burning and of course you already notice that there's no DVD burner here so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and click add ISO file destination to drive list the other two are optional I mean if you wanna delete the folder after your successful burn or delete whatever 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 although it's not going to really delete it because it's not going to notice a DVD burner so I just still have them checked oh well so just make sure the ISO file destination drive is actually checked once that is done hit OK and drag your file here your video file or uh, you can click the button and it'll ask you where is it if you have subtitles don't forget that you can actually uh, add your subtitles uh, there will be another window that actually opens up over here but since I already have the file done I'm not going through those steps so let's pretend that the file is done it'll actually open up and it'll show you the ISO file destination if you cannot find the ISO file destination that um, you can actually go to convert X so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and close this since I already have it done I'm gonna go to my file which is in your home folder and just click open this file you'll notice convert X to DVD is here and it created that file after you uh, told it to burn it'll say uh, the file destination is not made do you want us to make that file just click yes at that time and then you'll get this folder in your home folder as you can see I double clicked on it here is the ISO file that it has made pretty good thing huh yep so to check it I've already actually burned this to a disk as you can see the disk is there and what we could do is we could play this file let's go ahead and open up VLC just to make sure it did what convert X normally would do with 
menus and all of that good stuff so we have VLC open we're gonna click media we're gonna play uh, hit open disk there's a the name Stephen King's The Stand 1994 it's a DVD we're gonna hit play and as you can see it does have the menus although I did two, DV, uh, two DVDs on this one so that's why you don't see you know the four or five or six different little things going down there for your chapters and stuff so if we we can click on either one make sure it plays and there we have it and it plays just fine and skip forward just a little bit it's an old movie we did this just because of copyright protection and as you can see it actually works so I hope this helps a lot of people that's on Linux distributions from Ubuntu to Linux Mint to Fedora and a couple of other uh, Linux uh, distributions and hopefully this will help you out in the future also since uh, we can't get the burner to actually run on the play on Linux or on the uh, the uh, wine is not uh, working with ConvertX to DVD. All right. Have a good one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hopefully everyone will have a good time with this one. Thanks.